Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fusi Supreme Traders, right? So in this video, I got a question from a subscriber. So the question is, hello, could you suggest a trading platform that is just trustworthy, right? So I'm going to divide this question into two subtopics, you understand? So the first one, I'm going to talk about the trading platform as in the broker. And then the second part of this question, I'm going to talk about trading platform as in mt4 or mt5 you understand all right so on this topic of all right so talking about the trading platform talking about the broker right so when it comes to the broker the only thing i can recommend you feel me like when you talk about trusting now I feel like trust isn't something that you can like you can have for something after just a week or two weeks you feel me or a month trust is something that you need to like have gone through an extended period of time for you to say you can trust this platform and so forth right so I'm gonna give you advice based on my experience you feel me some people might not agree with what I'm saying but I can only talk from my own experience right so the only broker that I can recommend right is xm broker so a lot of you guys know xm like for the longest time they've been giving bonuses right and i remember even when i tr started with them like they had this bonus thing going on and stuff like that so before we talk about this listen i'm not their ib i'm not promoting anything i don't work with them i only trade with them you feel me i'm not getting paid to make this video and stuff like that i'm just answering you truthfully from my experience so one thing i've experienced with xm right is a lot of people complain that their spreads is a lot you feel me that's what i've what that's what i've noticed the most most of the time is like people complain that but dog their spreads are a lot yes i agree their spreads are a lot but at the same time their commission is not as much as other brokers so let me explain the difference between the two so with commission now you get charged basically for holding trades and making trades also it's not a fixed amount but with the spread now you only get charged for opening a trade so if opening a trade costs less in other brokers then you might find that holding trades is gonna cost you more versus in XM way like the, the the spreads might be higher as you guys some of you guys think but at the same time holding trades isn't as expensive as the thing and we're talking about the swap here and stuff like that you feel me so another thing I want to talk about is the bonus I already touched on the bonus but I want to go into more detail when it comes to the bonus so with the bonus now the thing is me trading with xm right and me having so many new members i've had so much experience with people who are new to forex people who want me to link them to starting how starting how to trade forex and stuff like that and i can guarantee and i can tell you this I'm not guarantee i can tell you this a lot of people right when they came to me they didn't even have funds to like fund an account you understand what i'm saying so i like that they also kind of give opportunity give you an opportunity to like at least have that start up of starting how to trade even though it's just 30 dollars which a lot of you might think is not an it's not a lot you feel me but at the same time i've seen that 30 dollars help a lot of people who came to me and they didn't even have like enough funds to like fund and whole account so the first thing is they they'll give you a bonus the second thing is spreads versus commission right the other thing is i like the leverage that they they, they give you understand i think the maximum right now is one is to 888 which is the highest based like if you're comparing it with like sa brokers and stuff like that you realize that when it comes to xm now they have quite a lot of leverage when you're comparing it with local brokers and i'm not trying to shit on local brokers don't get it wrong don't get it twisted i'm talking about my experience mm. guys i'm even sweating now so another thing right this is the last point that i want to talk about xm they support mt5 and mt4 right i'll tell you why this is actually a good thing for for us traders right so because they support mt5 and mt4 now i'm gonna talk about the platform which is mt4 
or MT5. Should you go for MT4 or should you go for MT5? A lot of people think it's just the same thing and stuff like that. So let me tell you why it's a good thing that XM supports both MT4 and MT5. So a lot of you guys might be aware and know about these things called Forex trading robots, right? So trading robots as softwares and stuff like that that you plug in to your trading system, which is MT Meta Trader, right? There's for five and for four, but a lot of trading robots actually only support MT4. So the fact that you can register with the broker and go for MT4 and be able to use those um, automated robots or semi-automatic robots on that same account, or if you even or you can decide to go for MT5. And only use the robots that support MT5, which is a few. Which is a few. There isn't as much as many robots as there is for MT4 and MT5. So a lot of trading robots that you might get or you might buy and stuff like that. When you plug them on, you'll actually see that they go for. They have the. They have to put them in the MQL4 folder in the in the data files of the trading system which you won't find on MT5 so for those of you guys who want to trade using trading robots and stuff like that whether automatic or semi-automatic it's gonna be good for you to use XM because they support MT4 also and MT5 film so I feel like I answered that question for me my most traded my most trusted I mean to say my most trusted broker has to be XM hands down I've been with them for the longest time ever for me i've been i i don't think i've been with any broker as long as i've been with xm you feel me so i'm gonna go to the next question so this is the next question right it says i'm only answering two questions today so it says how does one set their levels and make sure that they are meaningful i've always said price i've always said price support and resistance level and this and the and the currency usually just barrels right through question mark feel me so I think what they're trying to what this person is asking is basically that how can they how can they like set levels which are like important not just like the irrelevant levels where the market isn't even gonna react there or stuff like that how do you actually find key levels on a chart on a price chart or any of that kind of stuff you understand so with this one fam right off the bat what I can say is you need to look for touches right so when i talk about touches i'm talking about areas where the price will interact with that level so if it's a resistance say for example you want to find you want to go through the historical data and find areas where that price was bouncing there or interacted there even if it broke through there retested or it went there and rejected you want to find those places and it has to be two or more touches you understand two or more touches i repeat ladies and gentlemen if the price only got to that level once and it never went back again there stuff like that that's going to be a very weak level you understand but two or more levels then it's going to be good so this also goes for trend lines if you look at trend lines so the way we draw trend lines you'll see that usually more not in fact usually most of the time all of the time in fact this trend line, if it's an uptrend, it's gonna interact with like all the lows, stuff like that. Two or more is better. If it's only one low, you can't have a trend line. If it's uh, only one high, you can't have a trend line. But if it's like highs, cons consistent highs, which are interacting with the trend line, two or more, then there's a trend line you can use. So you need to find areas where the market like interacts with that level, touches, like I'm saying. So. I'm gonna open a chart right now so we can so I can demonstrate this to you guys. I'm gonna use a chart that I'm using today, you feel me? Alright fam, so the first chart that we're gonna look at is the AUD USD on the H4 time frame. You understand? So on the H4 time frame we're gonna look at the trend line that we drew here. So this trend line as you can see, I'm sure it was there on Sunday's analysis or Monday's analysis, I don't know when I dropped it. But as you can see, we're talking about the lows. You see this low here, we have a touch here. Which is the second touch third touch here fourth touch fifth touch and our sixth touch here so this is how you identify a key level if we only had one touch then we wouldn't have such a strong level you understand what i'm saying so also looking at the a AUDS, usd what's going on here at the top we have one touch 
got the second touch and the third touch now so basically we can expect the price to reject because we're already seeing a rejection and stuff like that so how we're gonna treat this one it's gonna be on the members area that's where you're gonna find it you feel me so let's go to the next chart so the next chart this uh, this is a money chart ladies and gentlemen so the next chart that we have is the usd cat on the h4 time frame also you can see the highs right we have one touch second touch third touch fourth touch we have one two three four four touches at the top and four touches at the bottom also you feel me so you can see that here is a key level so to expect the price to go up like i did with the marker here is actually something that makes sense it's a decision that that's informed because we're looking at historical data and we're able to identify that you feel me so when it comes to support and resistance how one would actually go about this i'm going to go back to the AUD USD. hopefully we can find resistance and support zones you feel me so if we look at this zone here no we don't have any interaction there but if we look at this one this sub this support level we basically have contact here which is one we have contact here to the candlestick week it was a rejection right in a smaller time frame and then three so this would be a very nice area for you to expect things to happen in that nature right so this is a key level we've established that so if i move this uh, higher to here now you can see that we made contact here we rejected here right so as we rejected here the price did its thing came back we rejected also here it's the second time we broke through we came back and then now we're rejecting again here so three times so this is the key level here and there's also another key level there you understand what I'm saying? Hi, ladies and gentlemen so that's all i got for you guys today i hope you find the video informative and you see we're trying to give you guys content now content 2021 loading let's see how we do it all right so like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one peace out